everybody. Good news from the home of the champions. Club football is back with a vengeance. Look at the Stamford Bridge, the shed end lower. This is Chelsea RC. So here we go then. International's done with, and now the kind of period, Jason, that didn't happen last season and people are looking to see how Chelsea perform this season. Seven yeah. games, three competitions, 21 days. OK, let's look back last season. Okay, Yes, we didn't have the luxury of going in the Champions League. It may well have benefited us. If you remember, we got beat by Liverpool, we got beaten by Arsenal. We went to Leicester, I believe, in the League Cup. We got a victory there, albeit into extra time. But that was a crucial period for our season because things changed. Look, fast forward 12 months. I'm not having that Chelsea players are going to be tied. Yes, I know the workload is heavier. Yes, I know the fixture list is there. Let's have a look at the fixture list. Of course, it kicks off today against Leicester. Then we've got Carrier Bag. That is a game that we should be winning. Arsenal's going to be tough, should be winning. Then we've got Forest. The tough ones, the really tough ones, are going to be Atletico Madrid away and then City here. And then just before that is, is Stoke as well. So, listen, I'm not having that players are going to be tired this time of the season. Fast forward to March, April, towards the end of, of April, I think there's an argument, but right here, right now, these Chelsea players should be out of cope with these seven games coming up before the next international break. Most of them on the current one have been in action for their countries. That's how it is when you're at Chelsea Football Club. Willian scored for Brazil. Thibaut Courtois had his 50th Belgian cap and they've already qualified. Well done them. Eden Hazard started for them and scored. Well done him. England's under-21s had a big Chelsea flavour. Excellent debut from Foucault Tamori. Tammy Abraham Bradley. scored another goal. And Casey Palmer scored his first England under-21 goal as they beat Latvia. Well done. And then there's Alvaro Morata. Three goals in two games for Spain. Already a good season for him for club and country. So much so that we've made a little feature that is up online and via social. You can see it in wherever they may be later about his instant impact. Here's a bit of that. When I was little, uh, imagine one day I can be at Chelsea. He's a young player, but uh, with a great experience in, in the top level. He's ready, he's ready to play for Chelsea. Willian, lovely ball in. Yeah! Alvaro Morata, welcome to Stamford Bridge. Jason, good players don't need time to gel, do they? He's doing very well. Um, he could have had more goals. That's the only criticism that miss against Spurs. But he hasn't let it affect him out here at Stamford Bridge, the first player in Premier League history for your first two home games, to score and assist in each of your first two games. I'd still want like to see him move the ball a little bit quicker. The physicality and the speed of the Premier League clearly is something he has come ad adjusted to very quickly. But there's still a little bit more to come as far as I'm concerned. We haven't seen the best of him. And we haven't seen him link up yet with Eden Hazard. So wait for that. Yes, watch this space. Right. Let's go to Cobham and see what's been going on there. The answer is lots of fun. Have a look at this. Uh, we brought you Danny Drinkwater's well, Danny first, first training session as a blue, and he did that. Well, he nips in, takes the ball around the goalkeeper, finished it with a plong with his left foot. But uh, that's what we're doing, breaking up attacks, setting up attacks. Antonio Conte. Yeah. Well, Conte. he thought he just fell over, but yeah. actually... Yeah, Bakayoko here is. There you go, have some of that gaffer, stood on his toes. Mm. It's gone down a bit easy. For my liking now. I don't know if he's looking for a, a, a free kick. He's rolled over. But he but has still got it. He is lethal from three yards. Lethal. With no goalkeeper. Finish, by the way. Lethal with no goalkeeper from three yards. Now, David Luiz teeing up back here. Okay, have a look at them. Yeah, if David doesn't stop, does he? I mean, you, you, you must know whenever you come to Chelsea Football Club and back the fan out there, um, he is going to be a joker in the pack. Mm. Now, uh, speaking of those two, social media. <laughs> David Luiz has been mucking about again. Uh, Bakayoko has caught him from? doing, we think this is pommel horse. Oh, it is the pommel horse, yes. You can tell the dismount is perfect. He's very impressed, he's very pleased uh, with that. He's treating it, I mean, it is a treatment room. It is a treatment room, yeah. but, but that doesn't stop him getting involved 
where rather than letting the pros do it, uh, Mishy Batshuayi has posted this. This is part of what yes. you're supposed to Can do, I by the way. Can I just explain to someone, to the untrained eye, what that is? That is a masseur getting deep into the muscle areas there, and sometimes you've got to lift the leg up. You can see Billy, the masseur. Anyone must have seen that. Um, so don't be alarmed, that's exactly what it is. Chelsea's Mr Social Media is Mishy Batshuayi. He wanted to be in goal of the month for August. Was a good finish against Spurs. Tidy finish near post. Got head down. Technique was good. Unfortunately, it was past Courtois. Excellent celebration as well. Didn't matter because <laughs> the full-time result was what we needed it to be. And he's also posted this. Taking the mick out of yeah. Eden Hazard. 57 years, apparently, with the same haircut. Um, and actually, he's not wrong. So he suggested... <laughs> Maybe not 57. No, but he suggested this. What wow. do we think? Well... If he was looking to change? It looks better on Mishy, doesn't it? Let's, let's be honest. That doesn't quite suit him. I wonder what I'd look like with a little bit of batch wine on top of my head, Ben. What do you reckon? I think I would prefer David Louise. No, that's going to be too much to deal with in the mornings. This is the barnet you want. Antonio Conte. Mm, like awesome. That? I don't think you're getting away with it, by the way. Have a look at this. This tweet was sent to me by a Chelsea fan. Alvin Stardust. Uh, the, the studio lights are being blamed for that, um, and... That is, a, that is a bit of a quiff there, Benjamin. Uh, it's, it's not even as good as that, let's be honest. Um, right, let's move on. Here's Frank Lampard coaching at the academy, Jason, yeah. helping out Jody Morris. You can see the interview online with Frank, by the way, but we'll just have a quick look at this now. Um, God, if you're a youth team player, and Frank wow. Lampard's come in to wow. coach with Jody, I mean, goodness wow. me. Well, that is something very, very special. And, and a fair play to Frank, there's a, a lot of ex-players now that go into the middle, which he has done, and don't feel they necessarily have to go and get their A licence, which is what he's doing. He's got his mate down there, Jody Morris, perfect club to come back to. And uh, who knows what he's going to do with it. He may use it, he may not, but those young lads there, what? A treat that would have been being coached mm. by one of the best goal scoring midfielders this country and possibly in certainly one period in the world coming to coach you. Magnificent. Okay, so Leicester later this afternoon, the start of this big run of games, Jason. Yep. Um, yep. Last year played them three times, so uh, away there in the cup, scored plenty of goals, won all the games in the end, including a bit of extra time. And there were some great assists actually during the course of those. So uh, we pinched these from the assist list. Victor Moses being set up by Nathaniel Chaloba. And, and Pedro on the spin as well, very good. But that was last year, Jace. What about this season then? Uh, they're a much better side. Craig Shakespeare's gone back to basics, if you like. There's no drink water, so no Kante. But they have not pace up top. Not anymore. Um, they have pace up. Um, Maguire at the back, very, very good centre half. Watch him. He came here uh, and played against us last season. At Hull was the best player on the pitch that day. Mm. Um, so Hazard? I'd like to see Hazard back. Whether he starts or not remains to be seen. But that relationship with Morata, Hazard, William, and Pedro. I cannot wait until that gets going. So, uh, tough game. I expect us to come away with at least a point. Right, Blues and Foxes, bit of trivia for you. Uh, the quickest people to respond, we will give gold stars to Put on the show uh, next week. Our, our composite 11, we've got Mark Schwartz in goal. We've got three at the back, Webb yeah. and uh, Frank Sinclair, Steve Kemba, Chris Garland, Kante, is it? He can't have drink water because he hasn't played for both <laughs> yet. Uh, Alan Birchall as well. What about the manager? Who would you have as the manager? The Tinker Man. So, if you know the answer, comment below, and the quickest ones that we get, we'll read out as many as we possibly can next week. OK, so that brings us to another little feature we've done. Have a look at this. So that was a little piece of our fantasy football guide to the new Chelsea signings. If you were putting one of the new signings into your fantasy, Jason, who would, who would you have? Morata. It has to go in there. I mentioned earlier, he's the only player in, Chelsea, in Premier League history to have your first two home games, score in, in each of the two games and assist in each of the two games. That is points, points, points. And what do points make, Benjamin? Prizes, how fitting. And you don't want a striker who's ever going to be on the bench. And you don't no. know with some clubs, you know he's going to play every week. I reckon that's a good shout. And don't forget also that link up play between Hazard, Pedro, William. The cross is in, that's going to come from Zappa Costa as well. And Alonso, get your money on him. Speaking of which, he is now enhanced odds with our betting partner, William Hill, to score in a Chelsea win 2 to 1. 
his first away goal. Your money's pretty safe there, I reckon. So good luck to him at Leicester, wherever they may be with Cundy and Co. Of course, this afternoon. And before that, good luck to the under 18s, inspired by Frank Lampard. They are taking on Arsenal. Big game live on Chelsea TV. But after all that, something with the big ears is back. <laughs> the Champions League. Goosebumps at the ready. Bye bye.